Hey guys, Aiden Corkery here, and I am going to be discussing in this video uh, option one if you are deciding to use your current Facebook profile where you have all your family and friends on the, the one profile. And I'm going to show you how to segment and separate your Facebook by your friends from your family and friends. So when you post on your profile, that if you decide to make a personal post, that that post will only be seen then by your family and friends. And if you're doing an affiliate campaign offer that you want to show to your Facebook buyer friends, it will only be shown to your Facebook buyer friends and your family and friends will not see it. So um, it's called segmenting. And um, there is a really cool, um, relatively unknown feature that Facebook has that people don't, aren't really aware of. And that's actually a friends list. So we're going to create uh, lists to separate our friends and family from our buyer friends. So the first thing we'll do is is click the home button here um, and we'll scroll down and you'll see here it says uh, see more okay where it says explore here so I'm gonna click see more um, and you'll see here it'll say this button here will say friends list so we're gonna click on that now you'll see here that there are some um, uh, lists already set up uh, these will be very similar to what um, yours will be very similar to what I have here bar probably one or two exceptions so let's say family acquaintances close friends probably restricted as well so what you can do guys before we begin adding buyer friends um, if you click family and you can begin adding all your family and friends to this particular list so I'd actually advise you to do that first look at your current uh, profile and add in all your family and friends uh, to this particular list here and make sure that they're separate so once you've all, you've done that it'll automatically save and we can go back to see more go back to the friends list and then you can um, begin to move on to the next step of segmenting your buyer friends so once all your family and friends have been added to this list okay and you're happy with that and you've double checked and everyone's in there We'll go down to this, we'll go up to this button here where it says create list. So we're going to click that button and you'll give, you'll create a list of people so you can easily share with them and see their updates in one place. Um, so we're going to put here buyer friends. So I, I would uh, advise you to just call it that um, so you're clear that these are where your buyer friends are going. Uh, obviously, you'll have no members within this because we haven't added anyone yet to this buyer friends list. Um, so we will be going through that in module two in a lot more detail, but just for now, we're just going to create this buyer friends list and have it empty. Okay. Um, and again, it'll, this will be empty as well. So um, as I said, once you have your family and friends sorted into your family list, as I showed you there a, a minute ago, um, we'll now begin to move on to this uh, process of adding buyer friends to our buyer friends Facebook list. So, um, I'm going to do, again in module two showing you a lot more detail of how to find Facebook buyer friends and how to find these Facebook buyer groups. Um, there's an updated video um, that I did that sort of goes over this as Facebook have changed their uh, policy around Facebook groups. Um, but I'm just going to use this example um, of a Facebook buyer group that I am a member of. And um, it's Mosh Barry, uh, he's a, a quite a popular affiliate marketer, internet marketer, and this is where he sends all his uh, Facebook buyers. So you see he has over 7,000 members. And um, you wanna focus here, if when you do get accepted into these groups, you wanna focus on the people that are commenting, on because Mosh does a lot of promotions in his Facebook group. Um, so you wanna look at these, um, these posts and He's saying, I've built a brand new 100% free membership every year for free gifts. Who wants free access? So you want people, maybe not for the free stuff, but uh, yeah, well, even if they're free, they're, they're buyers. So they bought his product. So that's why they're in here. Um, so you can see here an example here, free training, uh, additional income plus. So these are people all interested to make money on online niche. Mosh is promoting affiliate offers to his group as well. And um, you can see here all the people that are common. These are all buyers. Uh, these are all people who are looking to make money online. And you can scroll down here and you can actually see who's commenting. Um, so, for example, this lady, Jeanette, she says she's interested. She's commented. She's an action taker. Um, she's reached her friend's capacity. So we can't see an add friend icon here. So I'll move down to the next person. 
uh, Alan Hill. Okay, so we're not friends. Um, so we what we would do here, see as a buyer, we're just going to click Add Friend. Okay, whereas once it says um, Refriend Quest Sent, just hover over the friend request here. Okay, and it'll say Cancel Request Suggest Friends, but then we're going to go Add to another list. Okay, and you see there now our new list that we created buyer friends. You don't want to stick them in family or good friends. Okay, he's a buyer friend, so we want to click that. Okay, um, so once he accepts our friend request, he will be then added to that buyer friends list. Um, again, another person here. Again, you just repeat the process here, guys. Again, another not friends with him. I'm going to add the friend, hover over the friend request, add to another list, buyer friends. Okay, and move on. So I would spend, guys, uh, again, you don't want to spam adding people. you got to be really careful with this in terms of adding buyer friends. Um, I would definitely, maybe in the morning time, set about 50 friend requests, repeating this process. Um, and then I do 50 maybe mid-afternoon and then 50 in the evening. So I was roughly adding about 150 people per day from these Facebook buyer groups, just building up my Facebook profile. And... Again, this is this is how I did it, guys. This is this is how I reached the, the five thousand mark just by repeating this process, getting into a habit of it every single day. Um, now, this option one is it's a little bit slower as you have to keep sort of adding friends and making sure they go into your buyer friends list, but you are keeping them separate. Okay, so for example, um, if I wanted to make a post, okay, that I just wanted my buyer friends to see. Um, so I'm just going to put, for example, uh, have a great weekend. Okay. And when I go down to post, post this on my, my wall, okay, um, before I click the post button, okay, I'm going to click this uh, arrow down here. So if you want, I can post this to the public. I can post it to all my friends on Facebook, to all my family and friends and all my Facebook buyer friends. Um, or I can scroll down here and click specific friends. Okay, so I want to click specific friends. Okay, and I want to then type in here buyer friends. And it's going to take just Facebook to oops to uh, search for that name of that list. I think I put a capital W. Buyer friends. Hmm. Okay, just let me try that one more time. Um, okay, so I'm just going to try this one more time. And we'll go down. Okay, so there's our post ready. Have a great weekend. I just want to show this to my Facebook buyer friends. So before I click post, click the arrow here. Go down to more where it says specific friends. Um, then I want to type in the, my buyer list, my buyer friends. Okay, so you can see here buyer friends, that's my list. I'm going to click that, make sure that's ticked. Click save. Okay, it says buyer friends. So these are the only people that are going to see this post. So those people that you begin to add and they accept your friend request are automatically added to that list. Click post. And they are going to be the only people that see this profile. Okay, so um, that was a test one I did earlier on. Okay, so that's the live example there that I did for you guys. And so the only people that are going to see this are obviously yourself and your buyer friends. Okay, just the people in that list. They're the only people that are going to see this post. So if this was like a, a make money online offer and a picture and I was putting that putting that up there, um, again, I'd make sure that only my buyer friends are going to see it. So this for option one. If you are using going to use your current uh, profile, I've shown you now how to segment your family and friends and make sure that they're separate from your buyer friends list. And uh, when you go adding uh, buyer friends as we move through module two, again, make sure that when you send your friend request that you uh, tick that you're sending them once they accept your friend request that they're going to be added to this newly created buyer friends list. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how it works. I hope that's made sense. I want to move on now to the next um, option, option two, where I show you just how to set up a new Facebook profile from scratch. Um, but the option one is the more secure way. It's, it's within Facebook's uh, terms of service and you're only using the one profile. If you're not comfortable about breaking those terms of service, um, um that's again an option you uh, that i i'm going to leave to you um 
yeah, so I'd encourage you to do option one if you're uncomfortable about setting up a new Facebook profile. Um, for me, that was a personal choice. I decided to do that and um, it was just it was a bit easier to add buyer friends that way but again option one works just as well and you stay within Facebook's terms of service which I would encourage you to do um, but it is a personal choice what you decide to do um, so I'm just giving you both options that are available to you and you can decide which one is a better fit uh, for you moving forward with this instant buyer traffic method but uh, each method each option works guys I uh, just wanted to show you that and uh, we'll move on to module two now and I'll show you how to find these Facebook buyer groups and how to actually get inside them um, and don't worry if you can't get inside them there are ways around it as well which I'll discuss in the updated video in module 2 so this is Aiden Corker guys cheers for watching this please watch over this if it hasn't made sense and just go over it in detail and make sure that if you're choosing this option that you follow exactly the way I've shown things laid out in this video and you'll be fine so this is Aiden Corker guys cheers for watching this is the end and I'll see you in the next video